Welcome to the Cinemagic Preview Show. On this edition, we will be previewing Ryan Hendrick's romantic comedy, Lost at Christmas. Yeah, I think we're lost. My watch has a compass. Are you sure you know how to work it? Yes. I've got my gold Duke of Edinburgh. Well, I feel completely reassured. So why are you out here alone on Christmas Eve? Let's just say today didn't go as planned. You and me both. Let's team up. We're both going to the same place. Surely if we pull our resources, we can get home. You talk a lot. But no one ought to be alone on Christmas. But I have to listen to more cliches like that. Without a doubt. Tis the season. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, oh. How can I help you? Do you have any rooms left? There is one room left at the end. Settling in. Chosen your side of the bed. If we can't go home for Christmas, then, then I'm bringing Christmas to us. Aye, we'd be buggered if I was left in charge of a turkey. Oh, that's no way to talk about your ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you force your Four cheerful Christmas spirit on us. Lift that rain cloud for one day. I am not going to let your negativity ruin Christmas. Tonight, we are caught in this frozen bubble. We are out of sync from the world. So let's just leave it all outside until we return to the world. You can't just put a pin in feelings and leave them to a box and day because that's not how feelings work. But there's something about you. What do our young cinematic reviewers think? Lost at Christmas is a heartwarming and comedic story about two strangers who meet each other while trying to get home on Christmas Eve. These two strangers could not be more contrasting in character. One is a bit of a Grinch and the other is a Christmas fanatic. However, we see over time that they are not so different after all. Now this quaint little film set in Scotland follows two individuals as their Christmas Eve goes completely disastrous. Both of them end up finishing relationships with their partners and end up stuck, unable to go home. And um, trying to find their own way home, they end up stuck together at a hotel, which there is only one room left. And due to heavy snow and bad weather, they are not able to make it out until after Christmas. Lost at Christmas is about two unlikely strangers who try and track through the Scottish Highlands to get home for Christmas. We begin at the outset with two main characters who are left in quite desperate romantic situations and um, end up becoming lost together in Glencoe um, during Christmas. Set in the Scottish Highlands, two strangers meet on Christmas Eve and team up to try and get back to their homes for Christmas. So yes, it is a Christmas movie set in Scotland, which I find an amazing place. Great cinematography as well. Now, I thought this film was really quite enjoyable and that all the cast were perfectly suited for their roles, particularly the female lead, Jen, as her character is the physical embodiment of Christmas spirit. She's so joyous and excited and just wants to do her best to make everybody have a good Christmas, even if she's not having a good one herself. This film stars two strangers, of course, as they intertwine during both a terrible day they both had on Christmas Eve of all days. So they end up getting stranded in the middle of nowhere and during that time they begin to hate each other, then begin to like each other, drink a bit, then love each other. So yes, an average Christmas. I think this is a very sweet and endearing film. It really encapsulates the common theme that home isn't where you are, it's who you're with. And that can even be a, a new friendship with a stranger you've just met uh, on Christmas Eve, going through uh, an experience and uh, creating a, a profound bond. Uh, it also kind of encapsulates the, the whole, um, the magic of Christmas is really being together with, with people and experiencing that festive uh, 
the festive nature of Christmas, even coming from hard times like that, how that is like especially important, being surrounded by loving company. Having spent a lot of time in Glencoe and the Highlands myself, I really, really kind of resonated with this idea of being lost and stranded up in the middle of nowhere. And that was um, great to see, but in a Christmas setting. Um, I thought that the characters were incredibly well-rounded. I loved how the film just kept driving forwards, like it never stopped, it never got um, boring or anything like that. It was just really driving forwards. And I thought that the chemistry between the two actors was so brilliant and really palpable. The film has breathtaking scenery of the snow-capped Scottish Highlands. It also has stunningly sharp visuals and a vibrant decoration of traditional Christmas colours. It wouldn't be a Christmas film without many a festive jumper and holiday joke, and these are here in leaps and bounds. The scenery and the setting was enhanced really well as it is set in the Scottish Highlands, um, encapsulating that wonder and the snow-capped mountains of December. Uh, and it really creates this wonderful, magical atmosphere uh, and that the characters may not be too happy to be experiencing, or do they? You'll have to watch the film to find out. The acting was amazing, the cinematography was very good, and I did enjoy the very wide shot of them walking through, well, tracking through the snow, sorry. I thought it was very an interesting shot, and also Natalie Clark's character. She was very lovely and bubbly about Christmas, however, Kenny Boyle's character wasn't really, so they were very contrast towards each other, which I think that's why they worked very well. This film, stars many people such such as the great Sylvester McCoy who plays a man named Eric I'd say he doesn't, he doesn't appear much in the movie until he's around a good hour into it and steals the show immediately. Um, I also felt that the dialogue was really snappy and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the back and forth, the tennis match between the two actors. Um, I was really endeared to the story and it was just a really nice heartwarming kind of, um, it was almost like putting on a, like lighting a fireside at Christmas or something. I think also the soundtrack is something that stands out for me in this, to this film. Uh, it definitely, um, enhances the drama that's going on, on the screen and when there's a lack of dialogue it really fills in the emotional beats of what um, the characters are going through and I thought the characterizations of the, the two main um, actors are really really well, well done. Especially the costumes, I loved uh, <laughs> Jen's costumes, it was very festive and it was uh, fitting to her character. Definitely got me in the Christmas spirit and I feel like I want to emulate that in my uh, December wardrobe. Although this film did follow some cliches, um, although this film did follow some cliches, I honestly didn't really mind because although it's sort of typical for two strangers to meet at Christmas and not to be quite happy about their situation, ending up in a hotel but there's only one room with one bed, it fit the tone of the film and it worked really well with the characters and the cast and the storyline that was taking place. It was a really lovely film, like I could just imagine myself wrapped up in, like wrapped up in a blanket on the sofa just watching it. I think this film is perfect for welcoming the Christmas season and really puts you into that festive spirit. I think it would be perfect to watch one December night wrapped up cosily with your friends and family. The story portrays themes of comfort and loss and finding hope in those around you during the darkest of times. It really complements the melancholy felt in this currently difficult period and emphasises the importance of compassion for others, even if those relationships are short-lived. Overall, I believe this is a great film that everyone should watch. It, it is an indie film, which I believe we, we should be supporting these more. But overall, I would give this a 5 out of 5. The writing in the film was amazing. The storyline, yes, was good, but predictable. And it was, it was like every other Christmas film. Predictable, there's a happy ending. You love it. You feel very good after it. I thought it was fantastically set in the hotel most of the film. And all the characters in the cast were absolutely fantastic and it was a really engaging and perfect festive film for the winter season. I really enjoyed it and I would really urge anybody else to watch it. It's a really, really great little Christmas film. Um, all about like romance and friendship 
and um, the spirit of Christmas uh, and obviously set against the beautiful backdrop of Scotland, the Scottish actors and yeah I thought it was really really great so um, have a look at Lost at Christmas if you're if you're interested because I think it would be really cool to to sit down and watch this Christmas. Lost at Christmas highlights how a festive season may not fix our problems entirely but it can reveal that they are not all that we have. Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!